Kopan Junior men are walking out. There's a spare bow there. Well prepared to stand on the shooting line to be introduced to the audience and to you guys at home. Thank you very much for joining us on this Sunday morning on a cold, wet, windy January. Target one, we are joined by Stas Madic from Slovenia. Who is the fifth seed and shot 584. Joined by target two from USA, Sam Carson, who is the second seed and shot an impressive 594 out of a possible 600. Interesting that Modic has his coach who was the 2003 Outdoor World Champion, if I stand corrected. It sounds about right. Dayan Sitar. A long time ago, yeah. Been on the tour for many years, still a great shot. And we're shooting earlier in the week. So Sap to start the match. Good explosive shot there. <laughs> Lovely awesome pen. start. It's just let go of the pressures there. He knows what he's done. It is what it is. Is it tied on 29? It's good to see that all these juniors they come over as a team, so they've got club club colleagues, they come over as a team or as a group. So they hang out with hang out with each other at, at lunch times and go out for dinner in the evenings as a team. Hang out with the exhibition stands that are here. Talking with their sponsors. Yeah, the sponsors here are so important. The event wouldn't happen without them. As it was tied, the original shooting order commences. That will start. Nine. Same hole as the previous end. It's controlling the breathing. Nine. Just not following through with that front arm. Modric. He's moving his sight. It's the thing about matches, they can come and go so quickly that you need to be able to adjust your sight immediately. You need to know whether it was you or 
you need to move your sight. That's a very good point. There's, there's no time to get it wrong. Move your sight. Oh, it was me, not the sight. And before you know it, three or four hours have gone. That's a better follow through. A satisfactory nod there for Modic. It's a 10 10 10. And a two point lead. At 59 and 57. So each archer needs a minimum of six arrows each. Because while they're shooting the three arrows that you're watching all at home, the other three arrows that were shot previously are making their way back from one end of the range to the other by our wonderful volunteers here in Nimes. They're archers themselves. Nimes is a very, very strong archery club here in France, South France. And they really do live for all this tournament. I met one of the volunteers. She, she makes all the teas and coffees. And she's been uh, she's helped since the very first one. Um, and she's in her late 70s now, and she just lives for this. So she enjoys welcoming everyone back to this great event. Okay, sap to shoot first in the third end. Trailing by two points, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, you've just got to be waiting patient for your uh, opponent to, to make an error because there's nothing that you can do. You just have to sit and watch. All you can do is control your own arrows. But it's not like in other sports where you can put a spin on a ball or you can hit it harder or, or, or put it in a different area of the field of play. The only way you can make it harder for your opponent is to shoot tens and put the pressure on. I was not happy with that one. Carson really does pull back <laughs> to his face very strongly. Full of confidence. Ten. Oh, it's a Side beautiful out. arrow. With just three seconds left. Good smile there. Nice relaxed face. When he's looking through his peep sight, which you can see on the string, that's what they uh, use as a rear sight. <laughs> Stas still in this match. There's one arrow that the judge will need to uh, look at of Modic to see if it's a 29 or a 28. There's no question with Sap, he's certainly got a 29. Modic of Slovenia has 88. His uh, nine was upgraded to a 10. And Carsten, Carson Sapp from USA, 29 for that end, and trails by two points at 86. So there's still chance for Sapp to come back. Possibly extending his lead to three points. Nine. So 
very close. Long hold. Away it goes, <coughs> and he gets a 10. It's the last arrow for Sap of this end. Oof, close. This first arrow we'll need to have a look at if it's a 10 or remains a 9. And what it's going to a nice 10, 30, 118. Impressive scoring. Yeah, these are lovely arrows there. In the semi-finals, Modic uh, won with 149. So only dropping one point there. And Sap, he won his semi-final with 148. So good scores. Very close. So the scores are confirmed. 114 points to Sap and 118 to Modic. With three arrows left each. So you'd probably say that four points is a really large deficit indoors. Yeah, because Modic hasn't shot anything less than a nine, and, and I would... And only two of them. Yeah, I, I wouldn't suggest he would shoot anything less than a nine, so a 27 would win, but for sure he will, regardless of how far his lead is, he will still want to finish on a very, very high. He'll want 30 here for sure. And Sap just needs to enjoy these last three arrows. Is, is just go out on a high. Yeah, let's take some memories from these finals and turn it into something <laughs> positive. Yeah, it's shooting lovely now. Nice and relaxed. We can really see. The, the potential he has and understand why he shot a 594 in qualification. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have as much experience as Modic. Modic has shot for a long time on the Slovenian uh, team. That's a nice one to finish with. Relief from Modic. Modic from Sicilia is our gold medalist. And Sap from USA takes the silver. The USA Archers are quite strong in the compound division. And Europe having quite a few strong archers in the compound division also.